The Carolina coastal storm is drifting northward and flooding has already hit parts of the Jersey Shore and Delaware. Our meteorologist Mike Seidel has more from Rehoboth Beach. The surf is up here, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and all the way from the Outer Banks up to Long Island. This persistent onshore flow from the east to northeast is churning up the Atlantic. It's like a giant wash tub. These are eight footers out here and they're continuing to just tear away at the beach. Now the tide is coming back in. Next tide, tide a little after lunchtime, Eastern time, and that water is going to go all the way up to the fence. What you can see already as you walk down the beach, the undulating pattern of the sand. So we've lost sand already. And the issue with this storm, it's not very powerful. We have a low to the south, a high to the north, but the channeling effect is it's not going anywhere. It's kind of blocked in for four or five days. So we're going to lose more and more sand. To give you a visual on how high the sand should be, over here we have this drainage pipe coming out into the Atlantic. That structure should be covered up by sand. The Corps of Engineers is now in the middle of the replenishment project. They started in the summertime down at Fenwick Island, Delaware. They've moved up to South Bethany. Last week they finished in Bethany Beach. It took them about three weeks there. Now they're at Dewey Beach. Now they're on hold because of the storm till Saturday. Once they finish at Dewey Beach, they'll come up here. The width of the beach, they like to see 200 to 250 feet. That's in pretty good shape with normal tidal levels, but they want to get the beach graded so there's a better slope than they have now. They like to have about seven feet from the fence to the water, high tide mark, and then another nine feet on that, so the top of the dune being 16 feet above the water level at high tide. $20 million. They typically replenish the beaches here about every three years, but they had to come back early because of Sandy and they got additional money. So it's all been funded. It is not impacted by the government shutdown. The weather will continue like this, windy and cloudy. We probably won't see the sun here in any uh, large quantities until at least Monday or Tuesday of next week. Matt, back to you. For more, tune in to the Weather Channel or stay right here with us on weather.com. I'm Matt Sampson.